So good news, everyone, because this is Errol Suave, and today I want to welcome you back to another episode of what I like to call Troubleshooting Ninjas, main pending. So today we're going to be diving and slashing into Stellar Blade PC, and if you're here, chances are that your game is crashing harder than a Jenga at a toddler's birthday party. Good job. Don't worry, though. Cause I got you covered. Cause now a bunch of players, including myself, have been running into this fatal error crash on PC. Specifically when you arrive in or are playing through the section of Zion. But luckily in this video, I'm gonna be able to show you step by step on how I was able to fix the crash, get past Zion and keep Celebrate running smoothly. So that way you can get to what's really important, which is to actually play the game instead of spending all your time sending Sony crash reports. So. Grab your controller, or in this case, maybe your mouse and keyboard, and let's troubleshoot this thing. So, numero uno, first thing is, we gotta get into the BIOS, alright? I know it sounds scary, if you've never been into the BIOS, it can be a scary thing, but trust me, it's super simple and super easy. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this, but the way that I do it, and the way that I like to do it is, I just go ahead and restart my computer, if your computer is on. If it's off, you just go and turn on your, your computer. And then, you're gonna be start pressing your delete key on your keyboard. You continue pressing your delete key on your keyboard while the computer is booting up and it should take you to the BIOS. I'm gonna go ahead and change to my camera, my phone camera real quick since I cannot record my computer. It might sound a little bit differently, so do not be surprised, all right? Let's do it. So we're here on my desktop here. So the way that you get into the BIOS is you're gonna go ahead and click your Windows icon. I'm in Windows 10. You're gonna go into power here and you're gonna go to restart. Okay, now as soon as your computer is restarting, again, this is one method, there's multiple methods. I'm gonna start pressing my delete key here, okay? So I'm pressing my delete key here. Computer is restarting here. You can see me on the reflection there. So I'm continuing pressing delete. Keyboard is on, we should be getting near here. There we go. It says delete or F2 to enter the bias settings. And here we go. We're in the BIOS now, okay? Your BIOS might look differently depending on what kind of motherboard you have. So take that into consideration. If you wanna find more information about your BIOS, go ahead and do a, a quick Google search or a YouTube search for your motherboard and see how, where the location of the options are and such. So for us here, since I have a, an ROG, we're gonna go to easy mode. And then we're gonna have this window here. We're gonna to go to resize bar here. Now, usually resize bar by default is gonna be on. What you want to do if your game is crashing on server blade on PC, what you wanna do is put this off, okay? Right now it's off, so I really haven't changed anything. Super easy, simple, simple, easy peasy lemon squeezy. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna to go to save and exit. You can press F10 too on your keyboard as well. And it says you have not made any changes to the BIOS. Yes, because I already had it off. So for you, it's going to say resize bar uh, went from enable to disabled or something along those lines. And you're going to press OK here and the computer is going to go ahead and restart. So once it does that, I'm going to jump right back in and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so I just booted up Solar Blade here on PC and we are in Zion, as you can see. Just to give it a little twirl, give it a little test, see how things are running. Usually for me, the, re the, the fatal error crash usually happens fairly quickly uh, while in the section of Zion or playing through Zion and around about the three to five minute mark. Right now we're about uh, over a little bit over the five minute mark here. And as you can see, it's running smoothly. Everything is uh, looking good. Pretty simple, changing that resource bar from enable to disable seemed to do the trick, at least for me again. Uh, the thing with PC gaming is, you know, you have a lot of issues with optimization. You have a lot of different hardwares in the system, right? There are a lot of different configurations there. So it's kind of difficult for uh, developers to optimize for everything and account for everything that they're doing. But yeah, this did it for me. And even though it was a simple fix, I have to give shout outs. I did not came up with this. It was a Reddit user that goes by the name of code on the score 69 shout outs to shout outs to you sir for coming up and actually did the trick i was thinking that it was nothing was going to really help and that i would have to be waiting for the developers to push up a, a patch for this so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys if it was please leave a comment down below subscribe if you can it helps out a ton so as i always say keep it cool keep it suave i'll see you in the next one all right peace <laughs>